On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the mag of holding on the new Jack Gunslinger aftermarket part for the Basilisk Revolver, which adds an increased ammo capacity to the cylinder and increases the fire rate on the gun. Let's go test it out. So outside of the increased ammo count and fire rate, apparently this does less damage now. So we'll see if that's the case here in Zombies. But let's go ahead and check out that new fire rate. How fast are we shooting now? That's significantly faster. The recoil on it's a little heavy, but we just gotta hold down a little bit and we should be okay. And it looks like this holds eight rounds in it now opposed to the normal five. And I think this is the absolute fastest fire rate you can get on it. Cause I think all the triggers for the original Basilisk have been nerfed. I don't even think it's worth using triggers on the Basilisk now. Cause it's just too slow. And additionally with this aftermarket part, you cannot throw on snake shot rounds because this thing used to be like the, the diet version of the tiers at the start of the game. But we'll see if the fire rate can make up with its lack of damage. So on some tier one zombies, one shot will kill. That's good to see. And we got a tier two zombie right here. So how many shots are we taking to kill him? Uh, still going to need a few more after a reload. Okay. Still not terrible right now. Let's go see if we can find an armored tier two zombie. Here we go. Here's the guy we're looking for. So it takes like three shots to break the helmet, which isn't bad. We're still doing decent damage, but the reload's really sucking right now. I hope there's a good amount of ammo in this after we pack a punch it. And you can tell right now that I'm only using a single pistol. I want to do a, a whole game with just a single pistol and then we'll come back with it akimbo to see if it's any better that way. And before we upgrade or pack a punch this, how are we doing to get some tier three zombies? Here's an unarmored zombie. Not really doing any damage. And just out of curiosity, let's throw a decoy before I get killed. Uh, how is this doing against an armored tier three zombie? Not very good. I didn't even see any damage on him. So let's go ahead and change that. Let's get this to pack a punch three in legendary. And let's reintroduce ourselves to these zombies. Ooh, still not killing. Hold on. When we reload, we still only have eight bolts in the cylinder. That really sucks. It doesn't get upgraded at all. That's terrible. And the reload on it is not the fastest either. Definitely going to need speed cola for this. But against an armored zombie, it seemed to break his armor pretty fast. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about this right now. That is such a disappointment that we don't get any ammo upgrade on this because I'm pretty sure with the normal Basilisk, we do when pack a punched. But while we're around tier three, let's go ahead and grab Speed Cola and see what our reload's like now. So let's go ahead and use it. Eh, it's a bit faster. Definitely way more usable like this, but it still seems kind of slow. But that's what we got Mago holding for. Let's go ahead and use that. And is this more viable now that we don't have to reload every two seconds? It's looking like it. The damage output's not anything crazy, but the fire rate is definitely helping out. We're surviving over here. What's the max amount of ammo we have with this? 248? That don't seem like a whole lot. And just out of curiosity, let's test this out against a tier 2 HVT. All right, Mangler, how we doing against you? Broke his helmet very fast and should kill him pretty fast too. So it seems like a menace in tier two. I might as well do another tier two bounty since there's one right here. Get a little extra walking around cash. So I got to do this to you, Mimic. We got to take you out. That's very fast. Now let's go see if we can get the same success over in tier three. Oh, uh, here we go. Here's a tier three bounty. Please be an abomination. It is perfect. What's going on, pal? How much damage are we doing against you? Perfect. Start out with a laser. And we should break a face immediately. Let's go. Honestly, this isn't doing too bad. The fire rate with MAGA holding is just really helping this thing out. If we didn't have MAGA holding, this might be one of the worst weapons of all time. Just because the amount of times you have to reload. But we have two faces broken on him already. Why don't you go ahead and settle down? I'm going to shoot another laser. Perfect. Let's just take him out right here. There's no surviving for you, buddy. Already almost dead. This should do it right here. Night, night, pal. See you later. That was fast, but he didn't want to give us anything good for it. And we haven't tried this in a bit because he's always dead, but let's see how this is doing against a storm caller. Are you here, pal? Yes, he is. Go quick decoy and let's get to work. Come here. Let's get that mask of yours broken. Why don't you stay still? Let me at him. Break the hand. Come on. There's the broken mask. Ooh. The zombies are lighting me up. Let's throw a quick decoy before the aether shroud runs out. And let's keep going. Got him up close to half health. Already broke his posture twice. Stop him from healing as well. 
it's not doing the amount of damage I want it to be doing, but it's definitely possible to take him out with this. And just to add a little more damage to it, let's throw on dead wire. Now how are we doing against you? Oh yeah, that's what we like to see. Let's get his horde out of here. These guys better leave me alone. Oh shit, we're out of ammo. You guys drop any? Thank you. Appreciate it. And he's almost dead. You can just take him out right now. Let's try to ignore the zombies. Let's try to stay away from getting hit. Try to stop him from healing. Oh, you healed too much. And we got hit. So much for that plan. Actually, let's shoot him while we're on the ground. We can take him out right here. Ultimate strat. Night, night. This is actually like exceeding my expectations. It's, it's so weird. Because it doesn't feel like it's that great of a gun. But the fire rate on it with Mago holding is just carrying. My only wish is that this went fully automatic so I could just hold down the trigger and keep shooting. And if we can take out the Stormcaller, we can definitely take out a tier 3 HVT Disciple as long as he's not flying all the way to the roof. Get down here, coward. What are you hiding from? There's no running from this. You can't escape it. Oh, wait, maybe you can. Oh, Abomination, you can't save him either. This dude over here is trying to help out. But all he's doing is letting my Disciple heal. Bro, get out of here. You're complicating things. All right, Abomination. If you won't fuck off, I'll make you. There you go. Now it's your turn, Disciple. As soon as I get some ammo. No more dicking around. No one can save you now. Unless I run out of ammo again. I'm just going to beat your ass. How about that? Now you're done. See you later, Disciple. I think I've seen all I wanted to see with the single pistol. I'm going to try to do a few tier 3 contracts here. See if I can't get a rift. To take this into the dark aether and then we'll we'll try to breeze through that real quick and come back in here with a double pistol and then we'll take this into an unstable rift see if it can handle it it's been a minute since i've done this dark aether i think i've maybe done it like one time since the unstable rift has come out but honestly i'm still pretty confident that this pistol can make it through what are we getting for our bounty a mangler the mega bomb didn't want none of this he's getting slapped around too much in tier three he's taking a vacation over here in the dark aether don't matter to me Still mess them up all the same. Actually be a lot faster. Yeah, you're not surviving, buddy. Already at half health. Just started. A little armor in between. Make sure he's not going to knock me. And you really gave it your best try, Mangler. But I don't think it was enough. Uh, see, look, your zombie buddies are doing better than you. We can also do the strat of taking him out while we're down. Easiest bounty of my life. I'm going to give you a MAGA holding for that. Thank you. Very kind. This outlast should be just as easy. Oh, wait. Maybe not. These zombies are, are packing a punch. Holy shit. Maybe I should train around a bit and not stand still and shoot at things. I'm still going to do it anyways. You can't stop me from being dumb. I'll do everything it takes to stay stupid. Because this is still messing up these Dark Aether zombies. The amount of headshots we can land on these, if our aim is right, just completely wipes them out. Oh, until they get close. And that's our contract. Easy peasy. Last one. Let's see if we can get a few more mags of holding here. I want multiple from this last one. This is like the easiest contract on earth. And we're already done with it. Legendary Aether Tool, please. On top of our eight mags of holding. Nope. That's what we get. Nice little key. I ain't using that. Let's get out of here and go try these akimbo. So the single pistol is pretty decent. How are we going to do with two now? So it's still eight bullets in each. Nothing changed in there. The fire rate is still just as fast. And are we still one shot in tier one zombies? Ooh, maybe it's not to the shoulder. Does the damage really decrease that much in akimbo? I hope not. Because we are one shot in tier one zombies before with just one of them. I'm just hoping that I'm not as accurate hip firing here. Ooh, yeah, it's looking like a two-shot kill. I really hope these things aren't worse akimbo. And how are we doing against some tier two zombies now that we got two of these? Looks like we broke the helmet pretty fast, but still had to reload. And it's taken a lot longer to kill these tier two zombies than before. Yeah, we're gonna have to reload like three or four times just to get one of them down. That's lame. And just for curiosity's sake, I'm pretty sure these are gonna do nothing. Yeah, they aren't doing anything against these tier three zombies armor or not these are kind of trash right now so let's go ahead and fix that get a pack three and legendary please say we're doing a bit better now uh kind of we still can't even take out a, a fully armored tier three zombie without having to reload and the reload on this still pretty slow and let's test this out again with speed cola so now the reload is just a bit faster 
nothing groundbreaking, but I am definitely not using these without a MAGA holding, that's for sure. That is significantly better. They just look so goofy shooting like this, too. It's like they're barely even moving. You just see the muzzle flash and then twitch a little bit. But for how fast these things shoot, there's not that much recoil, to be honest. Gotta love that. And these look like they have one extra bullet over the single pistols. That's crazy. Eat your heart out. Akimbo is better. And to give these the same test like our single pistol, let's try this against a tier two HVT. What's up, Mimic? Are we taking you out as fast as we did before? It looks like it's around the same speed. A lot less thought going into it too. Just spamming both my triggers. And might as well do another one so we can buy all of our perks. Sorry, Mangler. Nothing personal, kid. Cracked his armor immediately and killed him almost just as fast. That should be enough for us to get the rest of our perks. And it looks like every contract worth doing is being used right now. So we might as well fight this abomination. Can we break a face fast with this? Oh, it looks like it around the same amount of time. What do you think, Abomination? Are you liking this? Oh, yeah, he definitely is. So we're already out of ammo. That already seems to be an issue with both of these pistols. I was running out of ammo quite a bit with both of them. And we're probably going to run out of ammo a bit faster with these, despite the one extra bullet, since we're just auto-firing both of these as fast as possible. We are just eating through all of our ammo constantly. Ooh. And looks like we're going down too. Do I have another self revive? I do. All right, we're, we're in business. We're gonna have to throw a monkey bomb to try to get a little extra ammo. Zombies, go ahead and go to it. There we go. Any ammo in here? 60 bullets, awesome, perfect. That helps. Disciple, I do not got time for you. Leave me alone. Oh, I don't got ammo for you either. Jeez, the ammo is so bad on these. Already ran out again. This abomination just watching me constantly have to run out of ammo and kill zombies to get them. We got two faces down, despite the ammo famine we're going through. And maybe we can end it right here and take out his last face. Nope, he just stopped shooting the laser. Because he knows he can play with his food for a little bit longer if he does. Come on, just shoot one more. Or at least open up for me. Let me in there. With these last 23 bullets, I'm taking you out. There's no surviving. Okay, maybe there is. There's a little bit of surviving going on. I just need a little bit more ammo. Just a tiny, tiny bit. And now there's no zombies to be seen. This is awesome. Just having an awkward encounter with this dude. Come on, any zombies at all want to spawn. I don't want this guy to despawn on me. Here, come on, follow me this way. We're gonna go find some friends. Come on. We're taking you for a walk. I hear a mangler somewhere. Here he is. Can we take him out with uh, Aether Blade? I don't think so. And maybe we can take out this Hellhound. Do you have any ammo? Nope. Please. I'm just asking for like three bullets. That's it. Somebody. Nope, there's another decoy. This is ridiculous. This game just loves messing with me. Zombie, get down here now. I bet he has ammo and it's stuck up there. And our abomination literally just disappeared. All right, well, I'm glad I went through all that effort. Well, at least we know this can take one out. As long as uh, we have a military surplus of ammo. We just need a Joe's Army Navy. I'm starting to get scared of bringing this thing into the unstable rift. Because damage-wise, I think it can handle or at least a little bit. But there's going to be no ammo to go around. And we lost our extra bullet. We're back at 248. I don't know what happened before. We had an extra round in the chamber. That would be a miracle if we can take out this Tier 3 HVT Mimic without running out of ammo. And you can still grab me through my Aether Shroud, you dickhead. Come here. Let me talk to you. We are not doing that much damage and we've already gone through 100 bullets. This is ridiculous. The single pistol actually might be better. I might have put all my eggs into the wrong basket. Already out of ammo again. This is shameful. What's the point of having such a low ammo count on a pack-a-punched weapon? It's not like it's balanced for multiplayer. And he's only at half health here. Please just die, sir. Just kick the bucket. Leave. There we go. With four bullets to spare. We really got to start making some money here. Because we need all the money in the world to buy self-revives to even have a chance to get through the unstable rift. Okay, now we have 253 bullets in this. This thing don't know how much ammo it wants to have. But at least we can try it out again against another abomination. This one's an HVT one. And it's taking way more shots to break the face. 
And it's only a matter of time before we're out of ammo again. We can get some nice shots in before then. Fully out. Aether blade. Not helping out the whole lot. And we're already eating through our self-revive stash. Oh, add another one to the list. Yeah, these gotta be bugged. We're at 256 ammo now. Make up your mind. How much ammo do you want us to have in these? Not like the extra like five or so bullets are gonna help a whole lot, but it's just not consistent. Shoot another laser, you coward. There you go. Just gotta bully him into it. That should be another face broken. Let's go. Got another last one. And he wants to lose it right here. Let's try to see if we can get up and close personal with it. We just completely stopped doing it. I thought we might get a little more damage for it. And it's not even worth shooting at him unless he's got his laser going. Because we're still... Because we're just going to have the issue of shooting at him with empty guns. There you go. Let's end this right here. Or not. Oh, we got 80 bullets in a dream. Just die. Oh, you're an asshole. This is such an annoying fight. It's like playing Resident Evil. We have to conserve all of our ammo. And now he's dead. God damn, dude. What a long fight. Oh, we didn't even have a self-revive that whole time. I'm glad I didn't know. I would have choked it. This thing's kind of just dookie cheeks. Normally, a Kimbo makes these weapons better, but I think it just made it so much worse. Even if it had, like, double the ammo, I don't think it'd be as good. Well, we might as well start activating these seals and getting all the obelisks done and just getting our hell out of the way. So I am really not confident in these things carrying us through the unstable rift. We might just have to abuse our Scorcher in there, but I'm going to try to do as much as I can with just these basilisks. But they're already just struggling here in Tier 3. I don't expect anything to change in the unstable rift. That's one down. There's two. And it looks like we're going to have to do number three in the storm. Hopefully we can get this done without dying. Actually, we're getting it done way faster in the storm. These spawns are fast as shit. There we go. All done. Unstable rift. Here we come. It had to spawn a thousand meters away, though. That's awesome. Let me in there. All right, unstable rift. Do your worst. And while I was streaming the last few days, we found some pretty good spots here. Obviously, the one good spot that everyone wants to get to is right up here on this roof that you can get to really easily with a scorcher. Just by flying up a little bit and then landing down right in this corner. But I found a way to get up here without a scorcher. If you got a gas mask, you can make it up here pretty free, at least for the first attempt, because the gas does eat through your gas mask pretty fast. You just got to run all the way up to this roof, hop onto here and jump on over and my gas mask did break from that but we did make it up here so i recommend using like a stim or healing aura if you're making it up any other time and this basically just funnels all the zombies to you one by one going up this way where they're currently messing me up a bit but i think we're stunning them just enough to not hit us but one of the better spots that some viewers showed me on stream is right over here we can just go right behind this tree and the zombies can't get to us. We can just sit down and chill right here. If we're behind the tree, the zombies throwing their meat can't hit us. I think the only thing that can actually hit us are the Mimics projectiles and Mangler projectiles. So we should be pretty safe right here as long as we got ammo to use, which we don't. Oh, actually, their meat is hitting us. Shit, dude. Well, we don't want to be... Taking too many downs in the first phase here. Let's grab some ammo and keep it moving. Oh, they might have patched the spot. I'm getting hit a lot more over here. It already looks like even just in the first phase here, these things are kind of useless. Like, they can still get kills, but not as fast as I'd like to. Not fast enough to survive. Especially with the low ammo count. We're going to get ourselves killed using these. So it's looking like Scorcher all the way here. And here's our boss. Let's see if we can do any damage to him with just these. Not looking like it. All right. We're going to have to use a cashmere. Let go of me. Unhand me. Oh, actually, the damage ain't too bad on him. These things are just a liability to use in here. Come on. I just need you to die for me, buddy. Go ahead and kick the bucket, please. He's so close to death. Die. Come on. Come on. Don't knock me. 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 Don't. Fuck. All right. Well, I'm taking you out the old fashioned way with no ammo. 
apparently. That's not good. Using two self revives in the first phase. Very bad. Very bad omen for us. But now he should be dead right here. Let's go. Maybe we'll have a self revive in our reward for this. Nope. Just a mortar strike and a turret. Oh, well, it's still something useful. I still don't think I've been able to complete this unstable rip without the help of a Scorcher or RGL or a crossbow. It's just too difficult with a bullet weapon. Oh, motherfuck. I don't even know if we see phase five. Even with me cheesing this. We do got a pretty good rhythm going right now, though. We shoot our Scorcher, throw a little Aether Blade. Of course, this mimic's coming in to ruin it, but we have an Aether Shroud. Quick little death from him. You know, our sentry gun broke. Shit. Of course, the second I start saying something. Please die. Go ahead and die for me. Thank you. All right, we're good. We're fine. We're killing it, actually. We're doing all right. And here comes our bounty. Let's see if we can do anything to him with our magnums. Oh, not really. Oh, shit. This is probably the worst weapon we could have brought into here. Even the sledgehammer did a bit better. Oh, wait. Hold on. We're starting to chip away at him. We just need some armor broken. That would help out a lot. This cashmere. Let's not go down. Come on. You know you want to die right here. There we go. And I just lost my Aether Blade. Let me get that back. I don't want to be losing that. And anything good from this. Cluster mines. Whatever. This shit is punishing. My Aether Blade is broken. It's lost. It will not let me use it again. Any way this game can cheese me, it's going to figure it out. At least it spawned in the boss for us. All right, Stormcaller. Eat these. Plus a cashmere. Oh, he's not taking any damage at all. This is bad, dude. We're in a pickle. Oh. And we're losing another self revive. We're gonna have to monkey bomb here. We're gonna Aether Shroud. Can we get any shots on him from down here? Just a little bit. And that monkey bomb got us like one kill. That's so lame. Come on, just die. Please. He's way too tanky. We can't get anything on him. Oh, and our Scorcher didn't go off. Fuck. Just launch this backwards. Let me out of here. 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 Please, bro. Oh, we're fucked. How many self revives do I even have left? None. I have none. All right, Mortar Strike. You're going to have to do something. Oh, and it's over. It's over. Yeah, there was no way we were making it through with these. Maybe I can still take them out while I'm down. Maybe it'll revive me if we can end the phase. Oh, and he is pretty low health. Hold on. Can we take him out? Oh, we got him. Let's go. That was clutch. The run lives on. Is there self revive in here? There is not. But we survived. For now. That's sick. I don't think we make it much further than this, but at least we, we, we stay alive. There's a glimmer of hope. Oh, nope. The glimmer of hope is gone. Oh, shit. That was fast. That was, that was very short lived. Man, I wish these things were better. Because it's such a fun idea to just make a, a pistol shoot extremely fast. You know, give it some more ammo in the cylinder. And even have the ability to have an akimbo. But it just eats through ammo and it does not do enough damage to really make it through anything. Man, that's disappointing. That was such a, a fun clutch though. I'm, I'm glad I figured out that passing through a phase will revive everybody that's down. But making it to phase four out of five ain't bad. Even if the Scorcher was doing all the heavy lifting. Oh shit, dude. So overall, this aftermarket part is decent only if you have Mago holding because the eight rounds in the cylinder, although it's more than the five that we normally get, it just does not do it. You're going to be reloading all day. So Mago holding definitely makes it more valuable and more like useful in tier three and above, but it's still like it doesn't do enough damage, especially in akimbo. You're just going to be run out of ammo left and right. There's like no point in using it akimbo, honestly. It's really fun. It shoots pretty fast, but you're just going to be running to ammo caches or just looking for any zombie to take out, hoping that they drop some ammo for you. So in this case, you're definitely better off using the single pistol over a Kimbo. But it's still a really fun aftermarket part. It's a really cool idea. It just isn't the most effective weapon for doing anything outside of like tier two and above. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.